Topic number four is another goodie. I know I had a nice argument with this guy from, I'm not even going to throw his name out there and get people to look at him on Twitter, but, but he's also from New England, let's just say, and he thinks he's a, a, a football guy, let's say. But I was at, you know, big arguments preseason about Trey Lance. This guy thought that the Patriots were going to look to move up and draft Trey Lance, and that was my argument, saying the Patriots never move up to draft anybody, and I, I said they weren't going to move up to draft Trey Lance, and I was right. Um, but, you know, team that did is the 49ers, and the real question is now, is it time to get your money's worth and put this guy on the field? Uh, to me, this is a tough question because, you know, watching him, you can see the raw ability. You see the raw talent. He's big. You know, he's he's got the arm. But he just – I think he just has a long way to go. And, you know, you're the 49ers. You're 2-4 and four right now. You, you're in a division with the two teams – Two of the teams that we just talked about might are definitely Super Bowl contenders in Arizona and the Rams. You know, so you're not going to win that division. You're not going to make the playoffs in the NFC. So, you know, is your offensive line where it wants to be? You know, George Kittle keeps seem, seemingly getting hurt. You know, you have other injuries where San Francisco all of a sudden just seems to be that one of the they're one of those teams that just constantly has injuries no matter where you know what position it is whether it's running backs or receivers or whatnot um, it just doesn't seem like it's the 49ers year I don't know if you want to throw Trey Lance into the mix when things are kind of all over the place maybe just let Jimmy Garoppolo finish out the season maybe he can right the ship because he is a veteran now and then see what you got after this year. Um, if you people remember just a couple of years ago, Pat Mahomes sat out that first season because Pat Mahomes, who obviously we all know has all the talent in the world, you know, is a smart guy, but in college never had to identify a Mike linebacker. So if you're Trey Lance and you've only, you haven't even played at the, at the big time division one level, it's all, um, the FCS level, um, when he was at North Dakota state, it, you know, you haven't, this thing sometimes I think move a little too fast for you. You know, not physically because he's a great athlete and get out of the pocket and sort of things like that, but not knowing how to quickly call the protection, not knowing to tell your line that you, they need to shift to the protection because there's a blitzer coming on the other side, you know, not reading the corner. And I know some of that stuff you just need to experience in a game, but for the most part with Trey Lance, you know, he, he just, he seems so raw and I, I just don't think it's time for him to start. I would probably wait till next year to start Trey Lance. Let, it, let him get his feet wet as an NFL player before you throw him into the mix there. No, I definitely have to agree with you. And, you know, I've said it many a times on this show, and, and, and we can go back or, or any of our viewers can go back and see that I was not a big fan of Trey Lance leading up in the draft, and I, I really wasn't high on him. I didn't think he was a first-round pick. I still don't think it's time for him to be on the field at this point. I do not think this kid is ready. I, I arguably think it's a few years away, honestly. I think you could put him on the field, and you'll, you'll just watch him struggle. You'll watch your team struggle. And I'm going to bring up a couple of other guys that, you know, were arguably better than him and, and better even draft-wise, and that's Zach Wilson of the New York Jets, right, who has really struggled this year with the Jets, even just struggling on reading coverages, like you said, or making the decision on where to throw the ball. Another guy that's struggling that I would say is arguably better than Trey Lance is Justin Fields with the Chicago Bears. Obviously, there's a lot of questions there if Matt Nagy's even using him properly. But I, I'll tell you what, he's still struggling himself, making decisions on whether even he, even if he wants to use his legs, one of his best talents, I think. So I, I don't know. There's just rookie quarterbacks out there that are much better, more talented than Trey Lance, and they're currently struggling right now. So if I think if I'm the 49ers, I let this kid develop and learn as much as he can behind a veteran quarterback like a Jimmy Garoppolo. And that's this season, maybe even next season, if he is not ready. I know a lot of people would say, man, letting a first round pick sit for two seasons. If you're committed to this kid long term, then that's not a big deal because he's very young. But if you're not committed to him long term and you want to see what you're going to get out of him and for your money, then yeah, in season two, you probably will have to play him at some point and put him out there on the field, but it would probably be halfway through the season at least. So I think if I'm the Niners right now, I let this kid sit and learn, and I try to develop him as much as I can right now so I can get him into position and put him in a position to be successful. I think if you put him on the field right now, I think he is going to struggle more than any of the rookie quarterbacks right now. 
And we're talking about rookie quarterbacks, and I, I have to bring up Mac Jones right now of the New yeah. England Patriots is by far playing the best out of any rookie quarterback right now. And that's arguable. Is it the Patriots putting him in a good position to be successful? Or is it that Mac Jones was just really one of the best pro-ready quarterbacks coming out of the draft? So there's a lot of questions right there. But I'll tell you what, Mac Jones is playing great and better than I think Trey Lance could do right now. So I think if I'm the Niners, I've got to wait on Trey Lance and, and, and keep him on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, I think with Mac Jones, it's a combination of the two, along with good coaching, especially out of Josh McDaniels so far. Um, you know, we, you made a good point about, you know, fans or, or, or experts might not want the 49ers to sit a first-round pick for two years. We well, you know who did that was Aaron Rodgers. He sat for two years after being drafted in the first round when Brett Favre was the starter in Green Bay. So you could see the 49ers doing the same thing. Now, they don't. he doesn't have Brett Favre ahead of him to, to even come close with Jimmy Garoppolo there. And I think that's the bigger thing. 49ers fans are seeing Jimmy Garoppolo. They paid him a lot of money. He brought yeah. them to a Super Bowl. Didn't really, you know, you know, we can have a totally different conversation about his performance in the Super Bowl a couple years ago, but... You know, he didn't live up to expectations after getting all that money and kind of hasn't gotten better. And I think that's where people are calling for Trey Lance. I don't even think it's, oh, we think Lance is ready to go. It's more, we're so sick of watching Jimmy Garoppolo. We want to see the guy we just took third overall. So, you know, the coaches in the, in the front office know what they have to do with Lance. He is such a diamond in the rough. He needs to be polished. He needs to be chipped away to become that star quarterback. And he, he's just not ready yet. Absolutely. So we're going to, that's going to do it for topic number four here on Comeback Sports.